So coming up, I'm going to show you um, uh, this card stock, and I'm trying to explain um, the embroidery look I'm looking to um, get from the folder. And um, you got to just hold on. You got to just wait to see this, guys. Okay guys, I brought you back because I'm going to show you what's my next step. My next step is to glue this in place. This. So I'm going to take glue and I'm just going to put it all around. Just like that, all the way around and I'm going to put this one back on top. And then I'm going to cut out the middle part. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go right around where I want my picture to be. So right outside those, right outside those little, what well, inside those little dots, that's going to be my guide. Yeah. And then I have to go back and cut my picture out so it can. Um, Go in the min in the middle, and again, if you choose to put plastic or saran wrap or whatever it is on top of your picture, you can also do that. I'm just gonna leave it as is. You see that? So what I all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and um, straighten it out, you know, so it can be even, and then I'm going to cut out the picture. That's my other daughter, um, Kaylin. That's a graduation picture. And I'm going to put that in the middle of this here. Just cutting that out and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm getting ready to cut out for the face to go on the card. I'm going to go over this a couple of times and make sure. Cut it out. If not, we're just going to have to go back over. So I'm going to be very careful the way I take it up. You know, that way, if I have to go back over it, then I can. Oh, it looked like it cut. So let's just take this tape off here. And, th and this is, um, we do have more of these pictures, so it's not a waste of pictures. Um, This is cool. So all we need is the face. We don't need all of this here. So I'm not really going to worry about that.
and instead of um, putting the picture and stuff on the card, um, the width, I'm going to put it down length way. Because I couldn't get a clear, really a good picture going this way. So I chose to go this way. So that's the way the card is going to go. So I'm just going to leave this here. And I'm just going to show you. I'm going to glue the picture in place just like this. And then I'm going to take this one here and put it right on top just like this. Here. I'm going to go off camera to do that. But just like that. Now, you don't have to go any further, guys, after this. You really don't have to. But, of course, you know, I have to be extra. So, I have this extra piece here that I'm just going to put down just like this. I'm going to glue that down um, just like this here. We'll have our bookmark. So, let's go. Now, this is kind of, this right here is kind of tricky and it always gets me. Because you have to be very, very careful of um, this glue. I, I, I have to I have to find a small tip um, product and this is really small right here but they have some smaller I need to find it if anybody have any idea where I can get a very fine tip please leave it in the comments because again I, I am definitely going to be making plenty more cards and at this point if you're still here with me guys I need you to hit that like button please Hit that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so now. And um, definitely come back and check me out. You know, usually I give this a couple of minutes, the glue a couple of minutes to sit. Because if you do that, it does set. Um, and you'll get a, a, a more tackier um, coverage. So let me just see if we could do it like this. But usually I'll let it sit for a little while before I put it down. Now I did not put it on the pictures as, as of yet. And I'm trying to see if it do I have to. Yeah, I, I, I will definitely have to, to keep it down. But I'm thinking just wait a minute until this side here dry. And this is a really cute project guys. If you have baby pictures, right? And, um, you know, you're on a train and you're reading your book. And someone says, oh, my God, that's a beautiful baby picture. And you know how we are as mothers. Yeah, we're going to we're going to um, brag. Yeah, well, that's my baby girl when she was that, 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 that. And we're entitled to. Well, sometimes when you're not just feeling good and you want to take, a, you know, just a flashback. That'll just be perfect. You guys are going to have to stay to the end of this video because I have a hat to something with Dollar Tree that you are going to love. So let me just finish putting this down. And while we let this dry, I'm going to show you the hat. A hat that I, I just recently found out, which is fabulous. So let me put this glue down just a little bit. I'm going to have to be very, very careful. Right? Because we don't want it to get on the picture, which it probably will. With my hands, my arm, uh, they're not sturdy at all. But we'll see how it works. I'm just going to sit something on top of it while I show you guys the hack. And hopefully when it come back, we come back, it'll be dry and we could just move on. Just going to put it down on the card. I'm just going to, I don't want it to all spill out on the inside. So I'm just going to just give it a little wipe. Okay, I'm just going to sit this down because I don't want it to spill out on the picture. So I'm just going to put this on top of it. And I'm going to show you that hack right now. Go buy stamps or anything. We're going to use this as a stamp, guys. Now check this out. And I love this. I love this idea because of right now, if I, if I was making a card, I can put the age... Um, that she was using these stamps right here. The age that she was when we took that picture. So let us let me just snatch a couple of them out of here. Let's do... 
Again, these came from Dollar Tree, and this is absolutely. I say my daughter was five years old at the time of that picture. I can put that number five up under there using these right here. Check it out. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eraser. And I'm just going to put it down just like that and press it down. It's into um, card stamping. This is absolutely fabulous. So all I'm going to do is put it down and push it in place. And check that out. Just like that. We have that number five. Isn't that cool? Now, you can go out and buy the stamps. Sure you can. But why would you? After I just showed you this trick here. It costs you $125 at Dollar Tree. $125 at Dollar Tree. And you have a number five just like that. And look at all of those that you get. You get from one. You could, you could just check. If you want 54, you can do 54. You want 100, you can do 100. This is absolutely fabulous, guys. It's plenty of cards that I'm going to use where I'm going to need um, a birthday on it. And I think I'm going to use this in all colors. Do it in all colors. Why not? Look at my 53. Just like that. 53. As you can see, that's my hack. And Dollar Tree have these mini erases and letters. So we could literally do the same thing. And look, it comes completely off. The eraser i didn't clean it or anything it came completely off which is so cool guys so what we can do now with that we take that 54 i mean that 53 right we take that 53 we're going to round the corners off And just like that, you can put it on a card. Just like that. If you want 531, 153, absolutely fabulous to do. Okay, guys, so let's get back to the project. Absolutely fabulous, guys. Well, this is our card. The card start bending up. It really bends up when you use a little bit of water. So, again, you can lay it down. Um, fine, no problem. So what we do, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take this one down here. Now, if you want to write something on your card, you're going to get a, a you're going to get a, <coughs> excuse me, a clear, I mean, a white piece of uh, cardstock or paper and you put it down on top of this and you have space or room for your, um, for whatever you want to write. This one here never fails. Just like that. I'm gonna put this down. Start from this corner. And you can literally make this a 3D guy. If I would have pulled it back just a little bit, um, it could have it could have had that 3D look. Um, and I'll show you that in in uh, another video. You had the opportunity to pull it up. Um, I make all kinds of mistakes. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna cut off that end there. Um, there's something else that you can do. You can literally take those scissors and go, go back in and cut around here. So you can see this opening here. Now, do I want to do that? No, but it's just a suggestion. Now, remember I said we were going to do the card this way. We're going to literally do it this way here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need it to, 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 to. I'm going to do it this way here because we need this to stand up. And I meant to do this yellow and, and blue. That's what I meant to do. I meant to take the blue cardstock and do the yellow. Ah. Crafter makes mistakes. Yes, we do. I'm going to push this over here. And it drives me crazy when my cards sit up. But I know after me, you know, sitting it, something on top of it heavy, as soon as I finish, um, I wouldn't have that problem. Mm 
I'm going to put this down. In the middle. Like that. <clears throat> See, that's a 3D look. I was saying how you can cut it and let the bottom piece show and it will give you that 3D look. So you know what? I might just leave it like that. I think that looks kind of cute like that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think that looks kind of cute like that. See that? Well, you can see the yellow. Yeah, we're going to leave that like that. But what I wish I would have did was made... I was supposed to cut this out in that that night shift blue, but I didn't. But anyway, we're going to we're gonna go on. This is absolutely fabulous. Guys, look at that. That is such a... Again, it's supposed to be a bookmark. You can take this here and put a little string through there. And use it as a bookmark but this is the way we're going to use it i'm going to put some tape on the back as far as we can take it um yeah i can't use that for that i really don't want to use glue so i'm just going to leave it like that guys Just like that. And I'm going to put my bookmark down in the center. Oh, this is so adorable. Just like that. Just like this. And our card literally finished you could do whatever you want to do in the middle again get a, a white piece of cardstock let me just show you <clears throat> and um yeah this is not a good one let me see what i have over here and guys you could take this thing like i said to the next level i wanted to show you guys something else but um i'll, I'll do that in the next video there's quite a few things that I want to show you guys. So I hope you guys definitely come back. Um, do we have white cardstock anywhere? What do we have here? Okay, so I'm just going to cut that out. I should have cut that from the start to show you guys. Um, yeah. So... We're just going to take a little piece of cardstock, just, just to show you guys. Um, if you want to, you could, you can, you can make it much bigger, but you could tack that down in the middle and you can, you know, put to whoever you want, say whatever you want. Um, yeah, just like that. Just always leave room for you to jot down whatever it is to whoever it is that you're giving it to. Again, you can use any, 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 any picture with this here. Um, so, yeah. So, I was going to think about putting down. Um, I always like to enhance my project. Um, there's two things that I was going to do. So, I wanted to put down. So, you know, when I want to close my card, I can. So, I'm going to put... these fasten dots <clears throat> so I'm going to put one <clears throat> here that way I can open and close my card with no problem <clears throat> and these were purchased at Dollar Tree just like this and this is how I always get a, a good um, closure other than this I'll be all over the place so just like this press that in and then I can pull open my card anytime I choose to just like that and I'm good to go so it's fastened and that's a cool thing but something else I wanted to do just to jazz up this card here um there's so many other things that you can put I made these um these butterflies I made so many of them that day you could do these in any color right 
put them down. I have so many of these butterflies. The other night I was so bored. I just made so many butterflies in, in gold. I have a couple of them up here on my computer. So let me just see. So yeah, you know, just, you know, just, just jazz up your card. And you know, the funny, the, the good thing about this is when you put it in the envelope, which we'll be making um, in the future, um, you could, you could flatten them and um, yeah, they'll go in there. If not, if it's just for show, you're just going to um, do what I'm doing. Isn't that cool? I have more butterflies. I'm going to put one on the other side. I put these up here and just in case I need to jazz up my card. I can always have something right at hand. And, and that's what we have here, guys. So what do you think about that? Now, we don't even have to put this, but I'm just trying to show you that you can just put about anything on your card when you're making it. Anything. And it's a very cute card. Um, I might just get, I'm, I'm thinking about giving my daughter that just as a, I, I love you. I have a stamp that said, I love you more than you love yourself. Um, yeah, so I don't think that's a good one, right? I love you more than life itself. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put that on there, um, on the inside, but, um, But anyway, guys, there you have it. So, guys, if you like this project, you're definitely going to have to give me a thumbs up. And I appreciate it if you um, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And if you would like to see um, more card making in the future, um, just let me know in the comments. Because I am definitely going to bring you some cards. I have so many ideas. And I'm going to show you so many things um, that I have to put on my cards, guys. You can put about, about anything. These are all 3D. These were for my um, scrapbooking, but I'm going to um, use them in my card making. Now, look at this. Isn't this absolutely fabulous? And these guys I bought from a store that was closing. Look at they were two for a dollar. Oh, absolutely. I wish I would have bought more. And this one is my favorite one here. I got to do a wedding card. I have to. This is baby girl. And look at these. I have so many of these that I bought that day. If it's a girl or boy stickers, look at that. Absolutely. Look at this one here. So again, look at these letters here. You could just use about anything to make a card, guys. My name is Rosalind from Rosalind's Journey. I thank you and appreciate your time. Have a good night.